Why do we have to drop out of hyperspace here of all places? Be glad we landed in an uninhabited system. At least there aren't any patrols here to bother us. And? Can you get the drive going again? Patience. Think about our cargo. If I fire the impulse drive too hard now, it'll knock our socks off. Ah, uh, we shouldn't have stolen the containers. The stuff is too dangerous. Wait up! What's that? I don't think we're alone. Could be some sort of hyperspace gate. Just much bigger. Coming straight at us! I've never seen ships like that! Hey! What are they doing? My problem, I'll handle it. Ah, Chiron. <clears throat> Good that you're here. Hi, Robert. Is it okay? No, no, no problem. Come in. Hey, did you see that ship that just came in? Man, what a machine. I wish someday I could... Damn. Yes, I saw it. <clears throat> you sent for me, sir? Yes, of course, I did. <clears throat> Simrob Security Services congratulate you on completing your training. You have shown extraordinary talent, and you now have the privilege of calling yourself an escort pilot with pride. At ease. <sighs> your father would be proud of you, Kaeron. Yeah, I wish he were here. Me too, believe me. Hmm, well... Look here. This is one of the first models of the new Dark Star, a technically advanced long-range fighter. That was the ship. It's the best ship in the whole sector. Wow. The Dark Star has an intelligence upgrade system which can integrate equipment from any technological base into the ship's systems. Besides that, you're literally able to expand your ship when you have enough experience. Weapon mounts, improved hull, stronger engines, everything can be upgraded, yeah? However you like. Amazing. Your father wanted you to have the ship when you'd finished your training. I have had you released from all other assignments, so use the time to do the training sessions and become familiar with the ship. When can I get started? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned right now. You can access the missions from the terminals. Hey, but you know how that works. And don't scratch the paint, you hear? I'll try my best. <laughs> Don't scratch the paint. That would be the first thing that I would do, is scratch the paint getting out of the station. Anyways, this is the Evil Clown here, back for uh, episode 18 of Dark Star 1. Uh, so this is a uh, space exploration and combat simulation game. And I am basically going through the motions here of getting started in the area. And just kind of playing through... Uh, everything that's going on in this area. Um, 
this is my initial mating setups. This is basically an RPG game. Uh, it has a storyline. Uh, this is your story right here. And uh, basically going around, I, I want to do the tutorial parts. I actually played through this once before, and it was really horrible. <laughs> um, it took me a while. So there's different uh, different phases you start out. Uh, I'm gonna pick this first one here with uh, kind of training day, group one. Uh, this is the initial um, training that uh, teaches you how to fly and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept this mission and move. And I can't do any of these other ones until I did the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and move forward um, with those and kind of see where we're, uh, see where we're at. And it basically tells me I need to leave. So, um, yeah, you start out in this world uh, as uh, basically the ship. Uh, your character is the ship, and uh, I'm going out now to meet up with a trainer guy to teach me how to fly and shoot and do things. Um, when I tried this once before, uh, previously, this uh, it was an awful experience for me. It took me half an hour just to learn how to move around and uh, get the controls down. Basically, I was speeding through space and I couldn't stop <laughs> and do the missions that, you know, he was telling me to do. And all it was was I wasn't using uh, the mouse wheel to slow down. <laughs> That's basically what it really did boil down to was uh, not, not figuring out the controls before I actually skipped through everything really fast trying to play and uh, do some content for you guys. But... Overall, this is uh, the controls and the content. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to go into too much detail here um, with how things work, but you can see as I go on screen here, they want to go through these little optis, opticals and uh, the opticals, <laughs> obstacles, and uh, fly through these rings. That's kind of like the first section of it. Um, as I learn how to speed up here and control the ship, you can yaw, pitch, and roll. Um, I'm going through here and just kind of home butt through these rings, trying to finish this really quickly. Um, like I said, the first uh, uh, rendition that I did of this video, I actually had to go back and record, and I'm doing some uh, record over right now because um, it didn't capture my mic again. And so hopefully everything is coming through to you guys and not getting overwhelmed. Um, as I do this, but uh, it, it kind of goes through in cycles, and I want to make sure that I'm getting through to you guys and everything that I'm trying to do. Uh, there, there's a lot of different uh, things on the screen as far as um, ships flying around. It's an active world. Uh, things are happening. Uh, you've got missions to do. Um, there, there's different uh, keyboard commands as well as your mouse wheel and interaction. You can, like I said, y'all pitch and roll. This guy's moving around. We're going out here to uh, kind of this uh, old array field to wipe out these um, old antennas and stuff like that. Kind of combat training, kind of gets you used to everything. Um, that's me firing it. Uh, it. You start out with just a basic laser and kind of build up your ship um, to be able to do all three areas of the ship. It's going to be sensors, lasers, and dry, dry propulsion and armor, that kind of thing. So basically these arrays, I got to destroy these and um, try to you know, knock out knock out stuff and keep you know progressing the tutorial piece. And that's pretty much it. So this game was made from Ascaron, which I mentioned earlier in my video um, with the text. Uh, they've done uh, titles such as Sacred and all the Patrician games and things like that. Um, those are pretty much all the famous ones that I knew them for. That I played, anyways, those type of games. And, uh, basically going through here, destroying stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, this one's shooting back at me, though. Some kind of a uh, sentry. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's basically it. You go around. Uh, when you when you do combat, there's uh, some ships that will uh, attack us here shortly, as you know during our training mission. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's fun. 
to learn how to do this stuff. Uh, here we go. It's kicking into it now. And you should be able to see what happens here in a sec. Oop, there they are. So I'm going to speed up and use my um, Hyperlight uh, engine, uh, which is for high speed travel kind of stuff. And then you can kind of move around control wise, you know, go forward, backwards, left, right, uh, pitch your ship left, you know, up and down and around as, you know, in, in combat, you know, like I angle here. You can actually uh, do a quick turn by um, pressing the back backspace or you know the uh, the um, the S key uh, just to kind of back off your engine and go backwards while turning and make a sharp turn and things like that. So you know blowing up the ships and scouts and these pirates all part of the missions and you get a little money from it things like that. Um, but overall, yeah, this is an RPG game. Um, this is about your, uh, that current guy that, uh, you, you were just having a conversation with inside the station, um, him and your dad were buddies and they formed a company called Simrob, Simrob or something like that. And, uh, you know, they came up with ship designs and all kinds of craziness. And this is the future. Your dad is dead. This guy's in charge now. And. He's not the not the best trustful person, I would say. You know, you kind of walked in on that conversation. He was talking to an alien. Um, so, yeah, and there's lots of uh, aliens in this game as well. Uh, it's also a trading sim game as well as a combat simulation game. Um, you go around and, you know, and an RPG. Uh, it has multiple elements. So I think you guys would really like this game. Uh, if you give it a try, you could probably find it super cheap on Steam. Um, yeah, like I said, this came out in 2006. So, not the greatest graphics, but it stands up game element-wise, you know, with, with content and things to do. Um, it it kind of touches base on all, all the basics that if you like certain elements of gameplay, you should be able to pick up on this really quickly. Uh, okay, he's wanting me to go in for a landing back to the, uh, back to the station. <laughs> this will be fun, believe me. I'm, uh, definitely not great at it. That's for sure. Um, but there are different as aspects to it. You know, like I said, you go through and you do those missions and things like that. Where you pick up the cargo containers. And, uh, it took me a while. You really need to learn the controls. Um. Uh, you can see there on the screen that that kind of uh, oval looking fuel gauge thing that's your hyperlight engine running out of power and you know when you use it and you've only got so much of it um, but basically that's it you, know, you run back to the shop here and, uh, contact them enter enter into the uh, enter into the station and that's pretty much it, uh, in a nutshell. But uh, yeah, the guy you're working for is pretty shady, so you get into some business dealings with the uh, RPG elements of this game and the storyline. Uh, and then there's also the the you know here we go I roll <laughs> barrel roll. Um, so uh, yeah, and it's got uh, trading and things like that. So I'm gonna pop up the uh, trading window here in a sec. Uh, this is the storyline window. Um, you can kind of go different aspects. You're basically the ship. Um, you can go through all your stats, uh, mail, which is kind of like a story update as well. Um, different medals, like of where you, you're kind of following those six different areas. There's your weapons, you know, different specialties, missiles, things like that that you can buy for the ship and equip it. Um, and you can also, uh, kind of level up your ship and that's what this is kind of a ranking system in three tiers you've got hull wings or engines and and then within those uh inside the combat stuff you also have some additional things like upgrading um, these areas these are kind of like your specials so you've got different areas of your specials you can level up at a certain point but i think you have to acquire something to get those but you got to you know, pick up uh, objects or something in the game 
like little tokens in game. And once you collect them, you level up, so to speak. Uh, and then I'm gonna. Uh, there's the mission window. So this is like cargo two. That's the second one, and it, and then the third one is different uh, pirate mission kind of thing, um, more fighting. So there's different aspects. Um, but I'm going to do the cargo mission next because that kind of leads you into uh, ultimately the storyline. So it, it, all three of these do, but you can go into this window in different uh, different areas and, and try different things. Um, if you literally just want to be a trader and do things like that, you can in this game. Um, no combat really at all, unless you get attacked by pirates. <laughs> but uh, yeah, different different uh, aspects. As like I said, it's a trading sim. Um, if you look down here on the bottom left, you see this station has certain perks and things like that. Um, if you go into the trade window, you'll see all the different uh, types of trades you can do. And down here at the bottom, you got uh, the you know, alloys and booze, and uh, I think this last one is uh, drugs or something. I remember right for this station. Yeah, there's booze. Um, and like four bars means they got a lot of it. So you can sell it pretty, buy it cheap and then sell it somewhere else, you know, cheaper. Um, so you make a lot of profit and things like that on hauling. And just doing hauling and trading and stuff like that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this, like I said, you know, it, it came out on Xbox. I know I played it on Xbox 360 when it, when it was out. Um, and maybe even Xbox One and got it for that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a PC game. You play it, you know, I, I downloaded this on Steam. It's a huge map. These are, you know, this section right here is just the system. There's multiple systems inside the Terran Empire place. And then when you get outside of the Terran Empire, you got all these other empires as well. So all these are different kind of alien races that you've met and may or may not be at war with or in, you know, decent uh, contact. And so all of these are kind of like aspects of the role play part of it, um, you know, going to different uh different areas of the map and things like that and different meeting different alien species and doing your thing you know either trading or fighting and, and whatnot so uh i really do hope you enjoy this game um this is uh like i said episode 18 of my throwback thursday and uh i hope you enjoyed uh the tutorial for the walkthrough that we did um that's pretty much all i have uh, to say about this section of it, like I said, um, you could probably, you know, pick it up on steam for probably less than five bucks would be my guess. This, uh, this thing is, is about 15 years old now. I, I, you know, I was thinking, looking back at the time and it was like 2006. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I, I was playing MMOs back in 2006. So, um, this game wasn't even uh brick and squelch for me, uh, back then. Um, I was really still into Star Wars The Galaxies and things like that and other MMOs that had came out. WoW came out at a time. I was playing with relatives and things. So, uh, yeah. Um, and not the best graphics. You now, holding up from a uh, video game graphics standpoint wise, um, you know, the, the, the company did well. They're a German company. Uh, they put out a lot of different content, a lot of different games. I think you might guys might enjoy it. Um, it, it like I said, it was, it was one of those that uh, was it was decent gameplay. Um, I went pretty far on it in one of my Xbox games that I played of it. Uh, I, I haven't really done too much with this since I played it on PC. Um, I think I made it probably about halfway through or something like that on uh on the playthrough but uh yeah that's uh that's pretty much it in a nutshell uh i hope you guys uh enjoyed everything and uh, i guess i will see you around the uh the time zone as uh we travel to the very far distant future 
and Dark Star won. I will see y'all later. Evil Clown is out of here.